hi guys this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about various database concepts like uh, database identifiers so let's talk about database identifiers so what are basically identifiers identifiers is the name given to various database objects like uh, servers databases tables views columns indexes triggers procedure and constraints inside the database so let me take you to SQL Server and show you what are the identifiers so I'm opening up uh, SQL Server Management Studio so identifier can be name of anything and uh, we have shown you various type of objects that can have names and those names are called uh, identifiers so let me show you what SQL Server name we have so I'm just waiting for SQL Server to open in the meantime I'm pausing this video so guys SQL Server Management Studio is opened I'm connecting to the server so waiting for it to connect and now it is connected so basically uh, here the identifier for the server is win29 uh, sql gva bba okay so this was the name for the this is the name for the sql server we are using and we also have identifiers or names for databases as well so if you expand the databases section so here we have a name identifying the northwind database and this is the identifier for the database name and uh, let's go back to the notes and before that let me show you on the database you have various tables so each table has an identifier which is a name assigned to that table so here we have various tables a1 categories and these are called identifiers any alphabets or names assigned to tables or databases or to various SQL servers these are known as identifiers and uh, names can be given to servers databases tables which we have seen and also there are uh, various other objects in database like views uh, columns indexes triggers procedures and constraints um, uh, I will prepare separate videos for them uh, regarding what type of objects they are and how to work with them uh, you may watch them later and basically in this video I'm um, just telling that uh, every object in the database or SQL Server has a name attached to it and that name is called the identifier and identifiers are required for most of the objects but optional for some so for example there is a object name constraints not name there are, jo there are object called constraints within the SQL Server and there is no compulsion that we assign a name to any particular constraint so for example if we look at the below code uh, here we are let me take you through this code so here we are creating a table the table name is xyz which is again an identifier we are assigning to the table and inside the table there are various columns so first column is named key column uh, which is an integer type column and this is a primary key column uh, pr by primary key constraint and this is a constraint so by assigning a primary key constraint to key column which means that this column cannot contain any duplicate values uh, so here primary key is the constraint but uh, name is not given to this constraint so here is what I was telling that there is no compulsion that a name should be given to constraint so for example we have not given any name to primary key constraint and the second column in this code is description which has a varchar which is of varchar type variable character type and it can take up to 40 characters and in the above code primary key is a constraint with no identifier this is what I was telling and uh, let's talk about the type of identifiers we have in SQL Server so there are basically two type of identifiers the first one are the regular identifiers and the second one are the delimited identifiers so 
let's talk about uh, regular identifiers let me make it bold so basically regular identifiers are those identifiers that complies with the rules for the format of identifiers so basically regular identifiers are those identifiers which follows the t sql or sql server rules for uh, defined for the identifiers and therefore uh, regular identifiers are not delimited with anything like square brackets or double quotes so they are not delimited uh, when they are used inside tql uh, t sql or sql server um, basically they can be delimited but there is not a special requirement to delimit them uh, so for example if we look at the code below uh, which is a select statement selecting some data from atlanta.employees table uh, where uh, atlanta is the schema and under this schema we have an employees table and we are selecting all the rows from this table where employee id is uh, 1122 and um, in the above code atlanta.employees uh, is, is the identifier for the table and this is a regular identifier and because uh, this naming uh, format is proper and not violating any rules of SQL Server and therefore it comes under the regular identifier class and we have not delimited it by using double quotes or uh, by using square brackets etc so now we understood what are the regular identifiers now let's talk about what are uh, delimited identifiers and basically uh, these are basically enclosed within double quotes or the square brackets and if you look at the code below so in the code below we are delimiting atlanta.employees table by delimiters but these delimiters are optional because the naming convention is regular and following the rules defined for sql server identifiers so here the delimiter is optional but if we look at the other variable or the other column which we are using in the AND clause so phone number is a column name which has a space inside it and therefore violating the syntax rules for the uh, identifiers and therefore it should be delimited or enclosed within either double quotes or square bracket so we have enclosed it and uh, here the delimiter is required and not optional so yeah I hope you have understand understood uh, what the delimited identifiers are so anything which is not any identifier which is not complying to SQL syntax rules should be delimited and delimiters are like uh, double quotation marks or square brackets I think we are done with this video and in our next video we will talk about the uh, rules defined for the regular identifiers so I would like to thank all of you for watching this video uh, please uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, also like this video and click on the bell icon to get any alerts regarding the future videos that I will post on my channel and um, I thank you for your support and you have a nice day ahead.